no vale la pena tomar más medidas ahí que eh, estar con, totalmente con
Good evening. Good evening, people. How are you today? Fine. Excellent. Okie dokie. Okay, people, let's get started this evening. I'm going to start with the first attendance. Today we start the third week, unit three actually. And um, well, I hope everyone um, is going to to do the homeworks and on time that is very important, okay? With this. <clears throat> okay, let's start with the first attendance. So please turn on your cameras and be ready to respond. Alba Janet Jimenez. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome, Alba. Welcome. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Yet. Carlos Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. Consuelo Saraí Rivas. And yet. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Present teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay, camera, please. Camera. It's so difficult. Just a simple instruction. Yeah, it's not, it's not difficult to follow instructions. Do it, please. Eddie Jose have... Hernandez. You don't have? Oh. I don't have a camera have... in this no, no, but it was a requirement from the very beginning. Everybody knew that, but okay. Eddie Jose Hernandez. Okay. Miren, yo solo les repito lo que me dicen, verdad? Porque yo tengo que, 
yo no insisto, el teacher no les insiste, ¿verdad? Entonces, no, tengo que estarles insistiendo. Es un requisito que desde que se comenzó, desde que ustedes se inscribieron a estos cursos, ya sabían que eso era lo que se les solicitaba. Así es que, bueno, ahí tengo que estar yo recordando. Fanny Judith Palacios. Present. Ok, welcome. Herman Enrique González. Present, teacher. Ok, welcome. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Very good, welcome. Jose Abel Izaguirre. Here present teacher. Ah, uh, no cameras anymore. Come on. Jose Miguel Massa. Jose Miguel Massa. Ha desaparecido este muchacho. Karina Elizabeth Hernández. Pues tampoco está de Jen. ¿De qué pasó? Magdiel Esaú García. Present teacher. Ok, qué bueno que ya volvió la energía por ahí. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher. Ok, welcome. How is your daughter, Pedro? Is she okay? It is okay, teacher. I fine. Uh, oh, I'm I mean your daughter. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, she's fine. fine. Okay, great. Thanks. Raul Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Yeah, he's not attending anymore. Wendy Lisette Gomez. Present. Okay. In the dark. Ha habido apagones por todas partes hoy, ¿verdad? Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present. Very good. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Okay. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present teacher. Very good. Henry Alberto Pérez. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Henry. Okay. Veo por ahí, Andrea Sofía. Are you there? Present teacher. Okay. Welcome. Consuelo Saraí. Are you there? Not yet. Mary Jose Hernández, are you there? No. Jose Miguel Maza. No. Karina Elizabeth Hernández. Present. Uh, yo creo que no debes de ponerle oyente, Karina, porque tú estás inscrita. Ah, ok. Le puse por lo que le comentaba en el WhatsApp, teacher. Sí, sí, porque sí, no, no... no voy a participar, pero ok. Sí, no hay problema. Estamos claros ahí. De acuerdo. Ok. You. Bueno, ahí ya estamos. 
Very good. Okay, quickly let's let's finish with the review activities for unit two. Do in my ear. Having an earache. Oh. Ah. Okay, the first activity is a word search, a word puzzle. Oh, como le decimos en Spanish, sopa de letras. The idea is to find these words. You must find these words. Todos están ahí en la sopa de letras. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, industry. Where is industry? Let me use the pen. There is industry. Industry. Ush, 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 ush. Tiembla el pulso. Ahí está, industry. Okay, continue with the rest, please. And when you finish, you have to choose five of those words and write a sentence per word. For example, si yo ya tengo ahí industry. Uh, for example, let me see. Can I? Uh, uh, what, what can I write? Avianca Airline. No, 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 no. Yes, this, this, this. Airlines is and uh, transportation industry. Algo así. Una oración para cada palabra. Ustedes escojan que ustedes decidan que van a utilizar. Primero encuentrenlas todas, ¿verdad? Son 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Y de esas 10, escogen 5 para hacer 5 oraciones. I'll send you to working groups para que lo puedan hacer más rápido, se puedan compartir. 18, no, three groups. Okay, join your groups, please, and complete the exercises one and two. Together.
Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, let's check. Oop. Well, I marked industry. Who can mark another word? Let me share the control to some of you. Okay. Alba Jeanette, can you take the control please and mark another another word in the word puzzle? Yeah. Okay. Era cualquiera, teacher? Yes, yes, that's good. No problem. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to mark. So we have industry, we have personnel. Okay. Henry, take the control, please, and mark another word. Okay, okay, okay. You haven't, uh, oh, okay. What is that? It's networking. networking. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> Se lo estoy inventando. <laughs> okay, now let me pass the control to Jennifer. Okay. Very good. Now, William. Okay, very good. Carlos. Okay. Uh, Wilbur.
will bear. Okay. Now, Eric, Jose. Okay. ¿Cuánto llevamos? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Donde lo hemos ido marcando. Staff, networking, manufacture, branch, headquarters. ¿Ah? Expertise. Expertise. Okay. Next is Magdiel. Hi, teacher. Mark another word, please. Small talk and guests are pending. Okay, teacher. Small talk. Okay, very good. And finally, Pedro. Yes. Marcala. Eh, no lo puedo jugar, teacher. Soy de mí. Ah. Pero es en la segunda fila. Segunda línea. Ok. Sí. Ah, por ahí, algo así. Ok, very good. Ah, eso es lo malo, que estos quedan ahí, va. Lo que me hicieron con el lapicito de... Wow. Ok, no problem. Ah, ahora... Eh, vamos a ver... Los que hicieron una oración con Industry... Write it in the chat, please. Si alguien hizo una oración con Industry, escríbala en el chat. No, nadie. I work for telecommunication industry. We belong to the technology industry. Okay. If you made a sentence with the word stuff, sentences with the word stuff,
the design staff is ready. All the staff are too busy. I work in the education industry. No. Celebrate the birthday. We have a lot of expertise. Okay. All the staff are busy now. Okay, very good. Sentences with the word networking. Sentences with the word networking. Nadia? Okay, sentences with the word branch. We have many branches along the country. How many branches do you have in your company? <laughs> Okay, branches, very good. Sentences with the word guest. Nobody used guest. Okay, okay. headquarters. Sentences with the word headquarters. Our headquarters are in San Salvador. We have headquarters in Santa Tecla. Okay. Ah, oh, there is a sentence with guests. Our guests always receive. Ahí habría que quitarle ese R a la que está con guests. Our guests always receive. Ah, no, perdón. Entonces tiene que ser un passive voice. Are always received. Received with a smile. A dog has, has five headquarters in El Salvador. Five headquarters, wow. Okay, small talk. Sentences with a small talk. No I sentences with manufacture. We have a small talk when working groups. Okay. Sentences with manufacture. Nobody used manufacture. Okay, personnel, sentences with personnel. Oh, the t-shirts are manufactured. Vamos, póngame el, el, pas, el past participle. Si van a usar la passive voice, tiene que usar past participle. Where does your company manufacture? Okay. Sentences with the word personnel. No. And finally, sentences with the word expertise.
Okay. The personnel of my company have expertise. Very good. Okay, people, the personnel of the plant are certified. Okay. Let's continue then with these words. The next exercise says, oversee, manufacture, supervise, be in charge of network. Write five questions in the simple present using these verbs. Five questions in the simple present using these verbs. Okay, quickly, please. I'll send you to working groups so you can do it e faster. Okay, join your groups and write five sentences as a group. Five questions.
Okay, please write your question with oversee. Write in the chat your questions with oversee. Okay. Managers or C's. Eso es tercera persona. Recuerden. The manager oversees. Five branches. Five branches. Uh -huh. Branches. Who is in charge of overseeing? Overseeing debería ser ahí porque tenemos una preposición of. Who is in charge of overseeing the plant? Roberto oversees. No olviden la tercera persona en los verbos. Roberto oversees the production. Okay. Good. Now your question with manufacture. Pero eran preguntas y ahí no me están poniendo oraciones. Son questions. Okay. Question with manufacture. Questions with manufacture. Nobody. Questions with supervise. Okay, now you tell me these t-shirts are manufactured here. Okay, good. What company does make the pants? Hmm. I don't make, no manufacture. Supervise is a verb, no es una un nombre. Henry. Supervise how is, is how is the differing in, in oversee between oversee and supervise? Um well, there's like synonyms actually. Oh, okay. Do you supervise that print? We supervise the team. What does your company manufacture? Uh, who supervises? Recuerden que las preguntas con who son diferentes. Primero porque no llevan a auxiliar y segundo porque el verbo va en tercera persona. Entonces debe ser who supervises the team. Okay, very good. Can I supervise? With iron fist? <laughs> wow. Okay, good. Now let's continue with be in charge of. Be in charge of. Recuerden que el verbo to be lo tienen que conjugar. Pero no vayan a poner en la pregunta. Be, si no es preciso, conjúguenlo. Ah, pues no, está malo. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué B es am, is, are? A ver, nadie. Be in charge of. Oh, 
Are you in charge of the plant? Okay. Le pregunta Pedro, el orden es al revés. Are you of supervising the production plan? Are you in charge of checking? Después de preposición, los verbos van en, en ING. Are you in charge of checking files? Are you in charge of supervising the production plan? Correcto. Okay, that's it. Who supervise or will be in charge of the accounting department? Bien, vamos a ver. Uh, si queremos preguntar qué supervisor, no es who. ¿Verdad? Tendríamos que decir what. What supervisor will be in charge of the accounting department? What supervisor will be in charge of the account accounting department? Yes. Estamos volviéndolo un sustantivo, el departamento de contabilidad, accounting. Which supervisor will be in charge or what supervisor will be in charge of the accounting department? Are you in charge of the bus? Yeah, that's correct. And finally, network. Your questions with network, please. Who should be in charge? of the technical department. Okay. Network, questions with network. Does network steady? Now, William. Recuerda que network aquí es un verbo. Un sustantivo. What do you gain skills in network chats? ¿Qué queremos preguntar ahí? ¿Qué habilidades ganamos? Okay, entonces sería what skills do you gain? What skills do you gain? Gain no lleva E al final. In network chats. Network chats. No more questions with network? Okay, to, to finish this unit, let's complete these questions in the correct order. Number one, I'm gonna put the example, did you enjoy the training 
Did you enjoy the training? Number two. Write question number two in the chat, please. Did the, no, it's not a question, it's a sentence. Didn't the, ma the manager attend the seminary? Mm. It's not a question, it's a sentence. It's a negative sentence. The seminary. The, man, the manager didn't. The manager didn't attend the seminar. Didn't attend the seminar. Yes. The manager didn't attend the seminar. Number three. Okay, I'm going to take the last attendance and we finish after that. Thank you. Okay, Alba, Janet, Jimenez. Present teacher. You, Andrea, Sofia, Benitez. Andrea, Sofia, Benitez. Present. Okay. Uh, uh, Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Good. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Mary José Hernández. Present teacher. Good. G Fanny Judith Palacios. Present. Okay. Germán uh, Enrique González. Present teacher. Okay. Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Se le fue la luz. José Abelis Aguirre. Presente teacher. Uh, teacher, por si algún caso me iba a desconectar porque está yendo medio la luz. Y okay. Como más amenaza. José Miguel Maza. Karina Elizabeth Hernández. Presente. Ok. Magdiel Esaú García. Present teacher. I'm here. Good. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher. Ok. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Good. Wendy Lisette Gómez. Wendy Lizette Gómez, ok. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Ok. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Ok. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Good. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present. Okay, and Henry Alberto Perez. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Okay, bueno, desde ya les digo, uh, José Miguel Maza le tocaba hoy la recesión personal, pero no está. Al final, alguien le interesa en esos 10 minutos, me avisa. Okay. Let's continue with the question. No, the sentences are the questions. Okay, next, they updated the maintenance certification personnel. Any idea? Uh, 
Uh, the personnel update their maintenance certification. Yes. Yes. Business card supervisor did the exchange. This is a question. Yeah. Is the supervisor exchange? Exchange business cards. Yes. And finally, a negative sentence. I network. Primero el sujeto. Network es un verbo. My workmate at didn't, no. At didn't. Uh -huh. My workmates, uh -huh. Didn't network. At the convention. Yes. Yes. I work my student network at the convention. Perfect, people. Pretty good. With this, we finish unit two completely. Bueno, queda por aquí alguna. Okay, no. Esto no lo vamos a hacer. Okay, we need to start unit three. The topic for unit three is communication at the workplace. Communication at the workplace. At the end of the class, you will be able to make polite requests. Make polite requests at the workplace. Okay. There are some questions here to discuss. Do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks? Do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks? What is tasks, people? Do you know what is the meaning of tasks? Tareas. Like tareas? Tareas. 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 Responsibilidades. Okay. So, yes or no? Dígame, dígame, contésteme. Do you usually help your co-workers with their tasks? Yes. 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 Ah. No son de los que dicen, hay que vea cómo hace. Ah. Bueno, espero que sí. Do you often ask co-workers? Ah, do you often ask co-workers to help you with your tasks? The ah, doble V es esto, ¿verdad? Help or ask for help. If you don't help, nobody is going to help you. Yes? Oh, be a helpful person. Look at these uh, phrases here. Uh, 
actually these are like short conversations. Huh? Could you print the budget file right away, Rita? Could you print the, no, could you print out the budget file right away, Rita? And the other short conversation, would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Let's practice, repeat please. Could you print out the budget Please. file? Could you print out the slide? Right away, Rita. Right away, Rita. Hello, people, come on, repeat one more time. Could you print out the budget file? Right away, Rita. Right away, Rita. Right away, Rita. Would you mind opening the window? So would you mind opening, you mind opening, opening, the, window? opening the window? Sure, no problem. Sure, sure, no problem. Okay, pay attention to this pronunciation because we don't make we. We don't pronounce the L, so the pronunciation is could, could. Cool. Mismo acá, we don't pronounce the L, it's mute, the silent L, would, would, would you mind? Okay, could, would you mind? Could, would you mind? We use these expressions for our polite request. Um, yes. La palabra ma. La palabra ma. Mind. Ya, ya lo mente. No aquí. Aquí no significa mente. Ya lo vamos a revisar por acá. Pero a ver, aquí abajo está. ¿eh? Ya lo vamos a ver. Ok. A ver. Think of five requests you need to ask in your workplace. My request you commonly, you usually need to ask in your workplace. Okay. For example, I usually ask for the uh, password for Zoom. Yeah. Or I use I usually I need to ask I usually ask for the link for the for WhatsApp. Yeah, algunas cosas que yo solicito en el trabajo. So what about you? Write five requests you usually ask in your workplace. Okay, I'll give you five minutes to do so. Oh, that's personal. Five requests you usually ask at work.
Okay, people, I'll put you in small groups to talk about those requests that you usually ask at your workplace, okay? Discuss with your classmates about your requests at work. Join your groups, please, and discuss about your common requests at work.
I'm back, teacher. Okay. You are in Santana, right? Yes. Yeah, today something terrible happened there, right? Oh, that's one. Okay, people, let's see. Let, please write in the chat one request that you usually ask at work. Write one, only one, please. Look at right report. You asked for that? All clients. Remember that the word request can be used as a verb. For example, request a new phone, please. Here, request is a verb, but you also can use the word request as a noun. Something you ask for. My boss usually has many requests for me. So a request could be a verb or a noun. Uh, okay. You ask for a report to call clients, keep my work area clean. The customer's not phone number, phone number. The idea is five requests you ask in your workplace. Los cinco cosas que ustedes Solicita. En su trabajo. Uh, send account statements. Move the motorcycles. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Send email for me. Okay. Email confirmation, call my clients. Extra time, okay. Very good, very good. Well, if you see, to make requests, we can use two forms. Would you and would you mind? To make a request, you can use could you or would you mind? Look at this example. Would you call me later? Sure. Could you make 10 copies of this paper? Right away. Could you contact the tech support? No problem. You see different forms or, or different requests using could. Okay. So observe and tell me when you start a request with could you, please follow by the base form or the ing form. What goes after could you? The base form or the ING form? Base form. The base form, yes. 
Could you call me later? Call is the base form. Could you make is the base form. Could you contact is the base form. Correct. Then answers to request with could you are not normally, yes, I could, or yes, I can. Answers to request with could you, cuando respondemos a una solicitud con que nos hacen usando could you, cuando las solicitudes, cuando nos piden algo y nos dicen could you, la respuesta normalmente no es yes I could or yes I can. Well, let's say we don't respond yes I could. The answer, the expected answer, la respuesta que se espera, are the actions that are requested. Okay, ¿Qué, ¿qué esperan las personas? Your action. Okay. Or, short answers like the examples. You can respond, sure. You can respond right away. You can respond, no problem. Pero no, no respondemos, yes, I could. No. Okay. We respond doing the action of the, that I have been requested. Or we should answers like this. Sure, right away. No problem, for example. Okay. Now let's see. Requests with, would you mind? Would you mind calling the plan manager? This is the request. Right away, would you mind getting the, an appointment with the human resources for me? Would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? Okay. So these are requests using would you mind? Now, sure. look. Ajá. Eh, ¿Cómo se puede traducir mind en esas oraciones? Mind. Ah, ok. Would you mind calling the plan manager? ¿Alguien tiene una idea? ¿Qué significa aquí el would you mind? It's like a, what do you think about? Um, could be, but. No importaría. Yeah, basically that is the, the way. Te importaría. No, es como decirle no, no, no tendría ningún problema en hacer tal cosa. Ok, pero si lo vamos a traducir literalmente es, es te importaría. Te importaría hacer esto, te importaría llamar, ¿verdad? Ahí, esa es la traducción de esa, de esa expresión, de esa frase. Would you mind? Ok. Es como decirle, no tendría ningún problema, ¿verdad? No, no hay problema en hacer tal cosa. Now, cuando comenzamos una solicitud, con would you mind? What is the form of the verb? Is the base form or the ing form? The, the ing, ING form. form. The ING form, right? 
you see. Would you mind calling the plant? Would you mind getting an appointment? Would you mind sending this box? And the answer to these requests, the same thing, okay? The expected answers for the request with would you mind are not usually, no, I wouldn't mind, no. No respondemos así. What is the, how do we respond? Well, with the actions that are requested. Haciendo lo que se nos pide. Or short answers like the ones in the example. Would you mind calling the plan manager right away? Would you mind getting an appointment with the HR for me in a minute? Would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? Not a problem. So these are the two different ways that we learned today about making a polite request. Using could you or using would you mind? Any, any question, people? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Uh-huh, tell me. Uh, which form is more polite? A both. Both are the same, no problem. It's indifferent. Yeah, we, you can use either one. Okay. Una o la otra, no problem. Any other question? Okay, tomorrow we are going to continue with these activities. So let's stop here with the last attendance of the evening. Cameras on, please. Alba Janet Jimenez. Present teacher. Okay, good night, Alba. Andrea Sofia good Benitez. Teacher. Present teacher. Okay, good night, Andrea. Carlos Ernesto Perez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Good night. Good night. Erika Denilson Escobar. Present. Good night, teacher. Okay. Good night. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Fanny Judith Palacios. Present. Good night. Good night, Fanny. Herman Enrique González. Present teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Ya no volvió la energía. Eh, José Abel Izaguirre. Present teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Jose Miguel Massa didn't show up. Karina Elizabeth Hernandez. Present, teacher. Okay, good night. Magdiel Esaú Garcia. Present, teacher. Okay, good night. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present, teacher. Okay, good night. Bye. Raul Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Good night teacher. 
Wendy Lisette Gomez. Present. Okay. Good night. Good night. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Good night. Good night, Wendy. Wilber Alberto Perez. Present. Okay, good night. Good night. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Good night. Good night. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night. And Henry Alberto Perez. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Good, Good night. night. See you tomorrow. No se iba a quedar nadie, Techa. Pues nadie me ha dicho nada. ¿Quieres tú? ¿Tienes alguna duda? ¿Quieres reforzar algo? No, solamente lo último que acabamos de ver. Lo, el could y el good. ¿Mm? Sí, no sé si estoy bien. El, 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 el good transforma los verbos en haría. Ah, generalmente, sí. Ajá. Y lo podríamos usar de otra forma, eh, aunque no lleve los verbos con ing. Como, por ejemplo, would you like? Sí. El would you like usualmente se usa con él. Like to. Tú. Con. Would you like to have a coffee? Ah. Pero es más como una invitación, ¿verdad? Como una of un ofrecimiento. Would you like to go to the movies? Uh -huh. Sí, es una acción, ¿verdad? Porque cuando decimos, por ejemplo, cuando pedimos ir al baño, can I go to the bathroom? No podríamos usar el could. ¿Cómo no? Podría ser, ¿verdad? Uh, no es muy común, usualmente se usa el can o de hecho también el may. May, may I go, ¿verdad? Es, en inglés hay diferentes palabras para expresar esto, ¿no? Y dependen como de la, de la intensidad de la... La sí, porque ¿verdad? son los, los famosos verbos modales. Sí, porque tenemos, tenemos varios, como el could, uh -huh. may, como dijo usted, y el can. Could, can, may, might. Es otro, ¿verdad? Ah. Pero ¿de qué dependería cuál, cuál usamos? De la contexto. Sí, y, y más que todo de la de la de la intensidad de la solicitud ¿verdad? usualmente cuando es algo que estás pidiendo que, que te hagan un favor o algo es el se usa el could could yes could you could you please close the window could you please uh, open the door ¿verdad? Usualmente para una, una, una request es el good. Y el please lo podríamos ocupar así como lo acaba de usar usted al, en medio sí. o al final. Sí, sí. Could you please close the window? Could okay. you close the window, please? Ok. Uh -huh. Y cuando le ponemos al final, la separamos por una coma. Sí. ¿O no? Sí. 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 Okay. ok, entonces depende, depende quizás de la, de la forma. Sí, eh, para permisos uh, podemos usar el could, 
¿no? Uh -huh. El May. Ya. Yeah. Y, y, digamos, estos funcionan como, como auxiliares también, cuando... Es, es, sí, se les llama verbos modales, porque ah. modifican, modifican otros verbos. ¿Verdad? Causan alguna modificación en otros verbos. Ajá. Y cuando le ponemos teacher al final de una, de una pregunta, como por ejemplo, eh, hiciste la tarea, ¿cierto? Y le ponemos un, un, un extra a la pregunta. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo, lo, ¿Cómo lo usamos en inglés? Uh, por ejemplo, did you... Uh... Could you do the homework? No. Right? No, de hecho son, son este, lo que se conocen como tag questions. Eso, y usualmente van en forma de oración, no en forma de pregunta. No se usa la forma de pregunta. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Uh, you did the homework, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. yeah. No decimos, did you do the homework, right? No. Uh -huh. son son eh, quizás eh, la pregunta la pregunta es una, es una, una oración afirmativa verdad básicamente que se le da el, el tono de pregunta ajá pero no lleva el question mark no uh, ah yeah. ya entonces sí te quiero ah pues eso Quizás en todos esos me, qued, me quedaba duda de, 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 de cómo usarlos y de qué diferencia hay entre cada uno de ellos. ¿no? Sí, si quieres eh, informarte más de eso, busca modal verbs. ¿Verdad? Modal verbs. Ahí vas a encontrar could, should, would, may, might, must. ¿Verdad? Eh, y las diferentes intensidades que se les llama, ¿no? El de la solicitud, del, 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 de la acción, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, lo haré entonces. Entonces, teacher. ¿Sí? Bueno, entonces, nos vemos mañana, teacher. Gracias. Ok, perfect, no problem. Have a good night. Uh, good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye.